Hello everybody and welcome back to Mustang Television. I'm Cameron. Today's trivia question is what is the world's largest island? Australia, Greenland, Russia, or Seth Boo? Again, today's trivia question is what is the world's largest island? Australia, Greenland, Russia, or Seth Boo? And now over to Cameron for some world and local news. All right, everyone thinks that all WWE wrestlers are fake people who act out wrestling, right? Well, not all of them are. A few days ago, Triple H broke his Triple H persona to help console a crying child in the crowd after announcing that John Cena had to fight in a three-on-one match against Seth Rollins, Kane, and Big Show. After the show, the kid got invited backstage to meet some of his favorite wrestlers, not to mention he got some WWE swag too. Have you ever had to take care of kids while their mother was out? Well, Roman Atwood had to, and he had the perfect idea. He ordered a whole truckload of balls and turned his whole house into a ball pit. He even brought in a trampoline and jumped from the second story onto it. When his wife came home, she was so shocked, but said it was the nicest thing anyone has ever done. A few employees of a car dealership called FNR Auto Sales decided to make a video shaming a palace pizza delivery man, in which they were billed $42 and some change and paid with two twenties and two fives. When the delivery man walked out the door with about a $7 tip, the employees later called Palace Pizza and demanded their money back, then insulted the delivery man when he returned their money. A GoFundMe page was made for the delivery man, which has raised nearly $8,000. Now over to Seth for some celebrity news and entertainment. On Friday last week, Betty White, who turned 93, was surprised by her co-workers on the set of Hot in Cleveland with a hula-style flash mob who wore Hawaiian shirts, grass skirts, and lays. Her response to this was, at 93, you shouldn't be doing this. Michael Moore, document, documentary filmmaker, posted some controversial tweets on Sunday in response to American Sniper, stating that, snipers are cowards, we'll shoot you in the back, snipers aren't heroes. American Sniper is being criticized for using a fake baby. When you watch the scene, you can tell the baby is fake, and at one point, Bradley Cooper moves his thumb to move the baby's arm. Clint Eastwood said on Twitter that baby number one was running a fever and baby two was a no-show, so they decided to use the fake baby. Taylor Swift sent one of her fans a care package with pictures and jewelry and a painting, all personalized, along with $1,989 to put towards the fans' tuition. And now over to Cameron for some sports news. The Seahawks beat the Packers 23-30 and the Patriots demolish the Colts 45-7. The NBA tries to get four European teams to be a successful venture for overseas basketball. Two years ago, then-NBA Commissioner David Stern said the league would for sure have teams in Europe in 20 years. Overseas expansion was a passion of Stern's and his replacement, Adam Silver, has continued the NBA's global outreach. The league annually hosts games overseas, including today's Knicks-Bucks contest. The next major frontier is a team based in Europe, or more accurately, teams based in Europe. Now over to Seth for some school sports and news. On Tuesday, the varsity girls basketball team beat Covington 71 to 40, and on Wednesday they beat Lafayette Jeff 54 to 49 after double overtime. Great job, girls. The basketball freshman team won yesterday's game. Tonight, the boys basketball team will play North Putnam at home, and swimming won by county on Saturday, and they also have a meet on Tuesday and today. The Hilda Bowen Nursing Scholarship application should be turned into the guidance office no later than Thursday, January 29th. Yearbook students will be selling raffle tickets for a dollar each during all three lunch periods on January 22nd and 23rd. They are raffling off a 2013-2014 yearbook from last year. The drawing will be held on January 30th. Hoosier Boys and Girls State are programs designed to educate young men and women on, of Indiana in, on the duties privileges, rights, and responsibilities of citizenship. You must be a junior to apply. Applications are available in the guidance office and due back February 13th. See Mrs. Jones or Mrs. Bowling for more information. The answer to today's trivia question is Greenland because, contrary to Cameron's beliefs, Australia is not an island because of science. My name is Cameron and I was wrong. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200.
But on the plus side, Mr. Good will be celebrating his 29th birthday this Saturday. Tetris.